gamers, it's your boy Easterman, and today we're going to do a really simple but cool intro. So first we will make a new composition. You should make the composition whatever size you need. In my case, if I'm going to use this for YouTube, then this resolution is good. I'm gonna uncheck the lock aspect ratio and as you can see there's already a preset named HDTV 1080. However I will change down here at the frame rates, I will raise it to 60 since I like it when the video is a bit smoother. It's a little difference, you will have to decide yourself and lastly we'll make the duration. Uh, you can always change the duration, so we can, let's make it 15 seconds at the start. It would probably be shorter. Okay, we'll start by making a text. So we can right click down here. There's two ways to do this, you can right click down here and make a text. Or you can do it up here, make in layer and new text. I usually do it down here, it's fa faster. We will type video, video intro. We might want to change the color, so we will select this text, go to the color, and simply choose uh, whatever color we're looking for. This time I'll go with a light blue. Next we will make a new solid. And this is where we will place the plugin Saber. So we can call it Saber, so we know what it is. We'll press the Saber, uh, the solid we just created. And we'll go up to Effects up here, go down to Video Copilot and Saber. It should look like this when you when it's by default. After that we'll go to customize core. In core type we will press here and change to text layer. We'll then choose which text layer it's supposed to track. We will choose the video intro and we can leave source to source. So as you can see it's very bright. We will lower the intensity We will also position the actual text layer in the center. Since it's not centered, I will go to the video intro and open transform. I will change the position to 960, 540. And it's not centered, so I will change the anchor point so it is in the middle. So you want this to be in the middle show it closer. Uh, this dot here represents the middle so we will do it like that. After this we want to animate the glowing effect and since it's Saber that's making the glow we want to go to Saber to animate it. Here we will go to customize core and in start offset press it so it's so we make a keyframe We'll go down to Saber down here and we can see the keyframe here, right here. You see that's the dot and uh, we will raise the, the offset and we, we got this effect. It's taking a bit too long so we'll pause it and lower it to a few seconds. And here we go. It will start from a closed position like that. So we have a problem. The Saber effect is making small dots before the actual animation begins. We will go down here to core size, keyframe it. Move the cream fray to one second, then we will lower the core size to zero, and it should look a lot better now. 
Yeah, now we didn't see the dots at the beginning. So, so far it's looking good. And at five seconds, we want the text to fly towards us or towards the screen. So we'll just go, uh, we can close the saber and we can go to transform. We will change the scale by making a keyframe with the current size and at six, six seconds roughly we want it to have um, went or passed the screen like that. So let's see how it looks now. That was okay, but it was too fast. Um, we'll make it roughly at four seconds and we will right click this first keyframe and choose easy ease out. By making it easy ease out, it doesn't start so rapidly. It eases, it starts easy and then it accelerates. So it looks more natural and not so um, stiff. And somewhere at around four seconds, I want the text to start uh, fading. We will go to the saber, make a keyframe there. And uh, uh, when it's about here, it will have disappeared. So it begins to fade away like that. And while this is happening, we want some distortion. So we will make some distortion by opening distortion down here. A chord distortion. We we'll align it with the other keyframe. And I will add some motion blur to make it uh, not as sharp down here. We will add two keyframes, one that starts and one that ends. And we can add some noise scale as well. And like before, we will place two keyframes. Uh, the first one with lower and the second one will increase the noise scale. After that, this we can close those keyframes and we will make uh, it glow stronger when it when the ending begins. So it looks like uh, energy being put into this light when it uh, dissolves. So we we'll go to glow intensity here. And to the watch the end here it and we will add two keyframes, the first one lower and the second one increasing. We will raise it. So this is how it looks now. Okay, the intensity was too high too quickly, so we lower it. So now we have now we have a cool exit. And we'll just make the entrance uh uh, the entrance a little bit cooler and what do I mean by that well you see when it uh, let's uh, let's find the keyframes we're looking for so that's the one the offset so you see at the end here when it finishes when it enters I want it to glow as well so we will we can add some core softness at the beginning. So we will press the keyframe button, make one keyframe, and then make another one where it's lower. That's nice. And then we want it to glow, like I said. So I think it's a glow bias. Yeah. We'll make three keyframes two normal ones and in the middle you will make one keyframe, keyframe that has a higher glow bias to increase the light. 
use control copy and control control c and control v you can uh, take a keyframe and copy paste it like this control c and now i will use control v control z to remove the keyframes so this is how it's looking so far and this is how it looks if you add sound effects to it okay we are now done with the intro i hope you found this tutorial useful if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video if you have any questions just type them in the comments below uh, i will most likely make another video similar to this one thanks for watching